You need to master anger before it masters you. Listen, anger is such a destructive force. In fact, anger is the worst emotional mental sin you could ever commit because it is linked with murder. That's what Jesus said in the Sermon on the Mount. He said, you've heard it said that if you commit murder, you're gonna face judgment. But I tell you, if you're angry with your brother without a cause, you're gonna face God's judgment. And so anger is the worst emotional sin. It's worse than lust. You see, lust is the emotional sin of adultery, but murder is worse than adultery. Therefore, anger is worse than lust. And if you don't get anger out of your heart, I'm here to tell you, brother, sister, you're gonna be in very serious trouble with God because he takes anger very seriously. The first example we have of anger is the life of Cain. And you might know that it did lead to the murder of his brother. So I want us to take a look at this story because you're gonna learn a lot about anger and how to overcome it from this story. So we find here in Genesis chapter four, it says in verse three, in the course of time, Cain brought some of the first of the fruits of the soil as an offering to the Lord. And Abel also brought an offering, fat portions from some of the firstborn of his flock. See, he gave God first, Cain gave God just some. The Lord looked with favor on Abel and his offering, but on Cain and his offering, he did not look with favor. So Cain was very angry and his face was downcast. First example of anger in the Bible. What made him angry? Because he was envious of Abel's relationship with God. God had blessed him, God had favored him, and that made Cain angry. Listen to me. The most deceptive form of anger is based on envy and jealousy. You see, other forms of anger, we get it. We know how to stop it. You know, somebody cuts you off in the road, you get angry, but you know they did you wrong. Somebody said something bad to you, you stop and and you, you check your anger. You know, someone does something wrong to you. You stop and say, oh no, I'm not gonna get angry just because they did something wrong. But what happens when you're angry out of envy? You see, Abel did not do anything wrong to Cain. You understand that? Cain had actually no reason to be angry. He was angry because he saw God's blessing on someone and not on himself. I'm here to tell you, when you're angry, at let's say a, a man or a woman of God that is close to God, God has shown mercy and grace and God is blessing and yet you find yourself angry over their success, you're in very serious trouble because at this point you have perhaps one of the most deceptive form of anger because you can't pinpoint it. All you do is you hate somebody and yet they haven't done anything wrong to you. You understand this? This is a serious form of anger. Some of you have this, and when you have anger out of envy, my goodness, it's hard to escape from it. So now let's keep reading. It says in verse um, six, then the Lord said to Cain, why are you angry? Why is your face downcast? In other words, why are you depressed? Why are you angry? See, the, you, you got to face this fact that you're angry because of envy. And most people want to deny they're envious and jealous. I'm not envious of that person. Then why are you picking on them? What has that person did done to you? Why are you so upset? Have you ever seen some of these uh, web pages? They're focused on condemning and criticize godly ministers of the gospel, those who that God has blessed and prospered. And what's wrong? It's envy. And they have this anger toward these ministers that are successful. This is a sad lot in a person's life when they're becoming angry and that person hasn't done them a bit of, bit of wrong. In fact, they've done so much good. Why are they angry over them? This is what Cain is going through and God is trying to get him to face his anger. Some of you, as, as hard as it's gonna be, you're gonna have to face the fact you're angry at someone without a cause because they're blessed and prosperous and you gotta stop that or it's gonna eat you alive. And this is what happened with Cain, it, it ate him alive. And then God says in verse seven, if you do what is right, will you not be accepted? In other words, why don't you just do the things that are making you angry about your brother? Why don't you start offering a better sacrifice, a better offering? Quit getting angry because this person is generous and you're cheap. Why don't you just start being generous? You understand that? He, that's what he's trying to tell him to do this. And he says, but if you do not do what is right, 
Sin is crouching at your door. It desires to have you, but you must rule over it. One translation says you must master it. Let me say this. Some of you, Jesus is not your master. Your spouse is not your master. Your children's not your master. Your pastor's not your master. In fact, you're not even your own master. Can I tell you who your master is? It's anger. And I'm here to tell you, anger is a cruel master. It will destroy your life. And God is telling Cain, you better master it. It's, it's sin is crunching. In other words, you haven't sinned yet. It's, you're getting close to it. You're about to have an outburst of anger. It's right at the door. You better stop it or it's going to master you. And some of you, I'm going to be honest with you. You are mastered by anger. So anger is your Lord. Jesus isn't. Your spouse isn't. You're not even your own Lord. It's your anger. And anger makes a terrible master. This is why you got to break free from it. Unfortunately, Cain did not listen to God. And I'm hoping, though, that you watching this video, you're going to listen to God through me telling you, you better master and triumph over your anger. If you don't, it's going to ruin you. Can I pray for you? Father, this person who's watching this video, it's not by accident that they're hearing what I have to say about anger. I pray, Lord, that you would deliver them, that you would cause them to wake up to see how anger has mastered their life, that they will triumph over it, defeat it, put it under its feet so that they too can have the blessings of God that they envy others with. And I thank you for delivering this soul in Jesus name. Amen.